Hello and welcome back to the Wandering Wind Church. I am Gregory, your digital video missionary, and today I want to read day 18 of step one in the Life Recovery Devotional. Today's title is Painful Abandonment, and our Bible reading for today is Isaiah 54, 1 through 18. I mean, 1 through 8, sorry. Step one, we admitted that we were powerless over our dependencies and that our lives had become unmanageable. Many of us know the deep sorrow and shame that come from being abandoned. Those we should have been able to depend on weren't there for us. We may have lost them through an untimely death, or perhaps they were there in body but out of our reach emotionally because of their own addictions. We know the deep, unspeakable fear that can reach up and grab hold of us at any moment. We may have used our own compulsive behaviors to find comfort and distance from our feelings of abandonment. Hear the Lord's message to those who have experienced the loss of an important relationship. For here is the Lord's message. Sing, O childless woman, for the desolate woman now has more children than the woman who lives with her husband. Fear not, you will no longer live in shame. Don't be afraid, there is no more disgrace for you. You will no longer remember the shame of your youth and the sorrows of widowhood. For your creator will be your husband. The Lord of heaven's armies is his name. He is your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of all the earth. For the Lord has called you back from your grief. God wants to give us such confidence in our relationship with him that we can be free of the fear of abandonment and overcome its scars. He can make up to us all that we have missed in our past relationships. He can fill the shoes of the one who isn't there for us. There is a season for grieving the losses, but the Lord can call us back from grief and give us renewed joy. God delivers us from shame and abandonment, welcoming us to the joy of recovery. I myself have a story about this. My father was not emotionally available for most of my life, and even now he does not have enough emotional availability to be able to do much. And part of that is because he was never shown love and because he was never able to give love because he doesn't understand love. Alcohol and addiction take away a lot of, of that capability for us. And I have forgiven him for what he, for, for all of the things that I remember. Because I know that holding a grudge only makes me feel worse too. I have been given grace and I have been given love by God himself so that the abandonment I might have felt no longer stings, no longer hurts, no longer stabs me as much as it would have before. And now I find grace and peace in the name of my creator. I find love and joy in my relationship with my God. And I find hope and peace in recovery through his power and through the power of those whose lives I have been connected to and who have inspired me to continue my journey. God delivers us from those things and allows us to be made new in him so that we can share in the joy of being free from that past, from that pain. So, remember, you are not alone in your pain, but you don't have to stay in your pain either. You can be freed if you call upon the name of the Lord. Remember, my friends, Recovery is not a journey that occurs in leaps and bounds, but rather by steps and inches, that every day is a chance to renew your commitment to being surrendered to God's will and not your own. Because recovery does not occur in a vacuum, but rather through the power of God himself and through the medium of the group. So do not forsake meeting, do not forsake connecting with the body of Christ, and do not forget that even though you once were those things, you once were a lot worse than you are 
we do not aim for perfection, perfection, but rather for progress so that we can see the change that God brings in our lives and we can give him glory and praise for those things. As always, I am praying for you in your journey of recovery. Please also pray for me and mine so that we may both be given the joy and grace of prayer so that we can both be given the gift of support from each other. Until next time, I pray that you stay on the proper path, that you stay on the path of recovery so you might find joy and peace and know the meaning of the word serenity. God bless you as you go, and thank you for watching, listening, subscribing, and supporting any way that you do. Until next time, God willing, I will see you again soon.